Hello everyone, this is Phil from One Model, and welcome to the companion video that goes with our recently published Workday white paper. So if you were reading the white paper and you clicked on the link, it's taking you to this video where I'm going to walk you through this diagram that you were looking at and how our Workday extraction logic and modeling fits into it. Alternatively, you might be coming to this video independent of the Workday white paper, and if so, we're going to provide the link to the white paper so that you can jump back to that document and read through and get more of the details on what we're doing with Workday data and how it fits into this diagram. Either way, if you're interested in what you see, reach out to us on our website at onemodel.co, or if you're looking at the white paper, at the back of that white paper, there are region-specific contact links you can follow to reach out to somebody local to you and hear a little bit more about what we're up to. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through on this diagram. It's not a full demo of one model per se, but I want to show you a few of the important pieces that we're calling out in that white paper. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our Workday API connection, how we get data out of Workday. And then I'm going to talk about our data modeling engine and how we take that data from Workday and reorganize it into an analytics-ready data asset. So you get... Uh, consolidated histories of your employees. You get effective dates and dimensional breakouts and time periods so that you can really make sense of all of those kind of disparate snapshots of data that you would initially start with getting it out of Workday. And the other thing I'll do is just really briefly, I'll touch on some of the downstream applications of that data once you get it out of Workday. You can see some of those on the right of this diagram. I'll show you our storyboard layer and data exploration tools that we have as part of one model. Also as part of one model, we have a fantastic machine learning data tool set called one AI, where you can build predictive models and forecasts and things like that. So that's fantastic. I'll give you a quick glimpse of that. And you could feed your data from Workday into that. We also though, we don't keep your data hostage within one model. That was the whole point of wanting to get it out of Workday in the first place. So once you get your data out, we're going to enable you to send that data to other downstream systems, however you need. So we have a tool called Data Destinations that will allow you to push data feeds out to other tools. So if you got your data out of Workday, then you have an internal data lake strategy or finance needs a data feed, no problem. Now you can solve that use case. You can use our tool to feed data back out to them. And then finally, on the bottom of this diagram, you'll see we'll also allow you to directly connect to the data model that we set up uh, in one model. So if you just want to connect right into the database where we model your data, you can connect to it, get that data into Tableau, Power BI, or some other tool, do whatever you want with it. So we're going to free your data, get it out of Workday, and I'm going to cover how we do that next. So I'm going to start here on the data sources page in one model. What's going on here is this is where our API connections live. And if you see, I can go down to Workday here. And this is the configuration for the API that we set up to connect to Workday and pull data out. What's tricky about this is Workday has a somewhat, people call it a snapshot kind of orientation to data. What that kind of means is as you think about getting data out of the Workday API, what's happening is you're kind of having to ask for particular moments in time. You're saying kind of like, tell me all about an employee with this effective date. And then you get that sort of snapshot out. And then you have this sort of work you have to do. I kind of call it the flip book effect, so to speak. You get a bunch of snapshots from Workday and try to make that flip book so you can animate it, so to speak, and kind of stitch the pieces together and get a continuous vision of what was going on. All the logic you need to do that is built into our Workday API connection. So the API, and this is documented out in the white paper, but it goes out, it finds all of the transaction history in Workday, and then for each employee, it knows how to request those particular worker slices to be able to comprehensively put their history together. Uh, this includes retroactive changes, which is sometimes a very difficult use case to pick up if you're building this sort of thing on your own. So that's a little bit, again, more in the paper, but that's a little bit of how our Workday API connection works. While I'm here, I'll also just call out quickly 
We also can connect to Workday custom reports. The terminology you probably hear for that is RAS reports or reporting as a service. So it's a Workday custom report. You tick a box so you can web enable it. And we've got configuration to go and connect and pull the data down from those reports as well. That's often useful to supplement the core data uh, with things like custom fields and other attributes. So right here, kind of baked into one model, we have all that logic to pull the data out of Workday. The next thing we do with it, I'll just head over here to our processing scripts area. So again, not a full demo of one model, but the next moment you need to look at, and then this is in the diagram, uh, is that kind of data modeling logic. And what's going on is we take all that still relatively raw data out of Workday, and we're able to transform it into an analytics-ready data asset. What that means is this data is in multiple objects. It's pretty difficult to query in the way it comes out of Workday. But what we do is consolidate all of that history down. So you have, for example, an employee table that has all of your workers in it, and it has effective dates for all of their various attributes. In short, you know, here's me in the data. And from this day to that day, I was in this department. I had this pay rate, this manager, and so on. So we find all of those changes, we fish them out of Workday, and then we combine them down into uh, one consolidated history, kind of a data model that is analytics ready. And if I jump up to previous version of this, I can also show you some of that output. So the real main table in here is this one dot employee, but you can see if you're looking closely in the lower right, this is, if, if you've been struggling with this problem, this is a little magical here, is we've got person ID, and then we have effective and end dates for all of their changes. And that's what we're reproducing out of all of those worker snapshots. So going back, if you think, look back at that diagram, now we've reached the middle of the diagram. We have created that analytics-ready data asset right there in the middle. And now just briefly, I'll show you some of the downstream use cases you can do with that data, either in one model or in a tool of your choice. So first things first, we have an explore tool for analytics. And what I've done here, I'll just take this off for a second and rerun it, is we're able now to do the type of analytics queries that you wanna do with minimal effort. So I've got my head count over time coming out of Workday. It's a demo data set here. And maybe I want to cut that data because someone wants to know the tenure breakouts of our population over time. So what I need to know for that is get all of the workers at all of those points in time and figure out based on their service tenure date or some other field, how much tenure we consider them to have and then put them in those appropriate buckets for all of those time periods. Actually, it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of logic that goes into creating this, particularly if this is a situation where you're juggling a bunch of snapshots and trying to stitch those together. So. From there, now we've got slice and dice analytics. We just move quickly through the tour. The next thing we have is a bunch of content. So what do you, how do you make sense of all of that data? The movements, the attrition rates, the internal movements, the diversity, workforce profile. So we've got some out of the box views for that with metric definitions and security. So your users can take a peek at the underlying data, see exactly what's in it, make sense of that. And we've got the security permissions to make sure they don't see too much, but we have the breadcrumb trails and transparency so they can see what they need to see. So that's the upper right of that diagram. This is going through one model, delivering people analytics out that way. Other things you can do with that analytics ready data asset. We have a machine learning tool set here uh, in one model as well, fully integrated with the rest of the tool set. And this allows you to configure and build predictive models for any outcome in your data. We have some other videos on this as well, but basically you can say, tell me about this particular field. Try to predict if people will terminate in the future, run a model for me, and it'll show you all the data around that model and the type of model it produced. It's some really fantastic stuff built into one model. That said, the whole point of this exercise was to get your data out of Workday so that you could do whatever you wanted to with it. So while we have some great tools built into one model, the other thing you can do is get data out of one model. So for example, you might have a data lake feed and somebody over in finance might need to have a particular table 
from that uh, data set that we put together fed out to them on a schedule. It's no problem. You can configure this to push tables, to push particular queries, you know, out to S3, SFTP, pick it up, put it in your own internal process and away you go. So we've just kind of been a throughput for the data, gotten it out of Workday, organized it for you. Now you can feed all those downstream use cases that you're trying to solve for today. And then finally, in the interest of just full transparency and moving back to the moving back to the overview here, you can also just directly connect to the data. So again, it's your data. We got it out of Workday for you. We reorganized it. And now you can just directly connect to that database if you want uh, and do whatever you want with the data. So we're going to free your data, get it out of the system, and uh, put it into your hands. And so, and that's the really quick tour. And left to right, what we were showing you here was getting data out of Workday, reorganizing it, showed you what people analytics delivered through one model might look like, showed you a very, very quick look at some predictive analytics tooling that we have in the tool, which we're happy to show you a lot more of, but then also just emphasized right there at the end that if you want to get data out of one model, use it in downstream processes, we are built to support that. So we really get you end to end. We get your data out of Workday and on to whatever use case you need it for. Now, again, if you're interested in learning more, you can hit us up on our website at onemodel.co. Or if you are looking at that Workday white paper, go to the end of it. There are links in there where you can reach out to one model representatives in your area. And we'd be happy to set up some time and talk through this in more detail. Thanks so much for your interest and good luck with your Workday data.